Many of you who've been playing Fallout 4 have probably already encountered this glorious, glorious baseball field. So with all that hidden history packed into one location, let's get it started! Most Fallout 4 players that haven't gone around ruthlessly murdering everybody have probably already met Piper, the passionate journalist who is known for stirring up trouble for the major powers in Diamond City. What you might not know is that our newspaper, Public Occurrences, shares its name with a very historic real-world entity. Public Occurrences, both foreign and domestic, was the name of the first multi-page newspaper ever published in the Americas. It began in September of 16. 1990, and it ended in, well, September of 1690. This is because it was shut down by the British colonial rulers of the day who considered it too dangerous to be published. This of course parallels Fallout 4's public occurrences which is considered a major nuisance by the authorities of Diamond City, especially Mayor McDonough. This isn't the only similarity between the two papers though. The real public occurrences was published in none other than Boston, Massachusetts. If you've ever ventured through the streets of Diamond City, you'll know that the entire city is founded on America's national pastime, baseball. It's fitting then that the Diamond City's leader, Mayor McDonough, happens to have the same last name as Will McDonough, a man who went from a talented baseball pitcher in high school to a sports reporter for the Boston Globe in 1960. Will McDonough was a lovable personality in the Boston sports world, covering all the major teams in the area. This, of course, included his beloved Boston Red Sox. That's not the only connection that Diamond City has to the Sox, though. The entire city is built on the ruins of the pre-war Fenway Park, the Red Sox home field. The residents of the city often refer to it as the Green Jewel or the Wall. In fact, you'll find a Diamond City citizen named Abbott painting the Green Wall to honor it. This is a reference to Fenway Park's Green Monster, a wall known for killing promising hits faster than you could kill a rad roach. If you look atop what was once the press box and is now the mayor's office in Diamond City, you'll see that the last time their team won a championship was 1918. This is a reference to the Red Sox 86 year World Series drought that started in 1918 and was finally broken in 2004. It looks like Diamond City's team wasn't quite so lucky. If you're looking to barter in Diamond City, one of your best options is heading to the Swatter Shack, where you'll trade with baseball enthusiast Mo Cronin. This name is probably not a coincidence, since Mo Cronin is one letter away from Joe Cronin, a legendary shortstop and later general manager who spent most of his life with the Red Sox. A seven-time All-Star, Cronin was a Boston icon during, no surprise here, the 1950s. That's not all though. If you head to the back of Diamond City and look up, you'll see a series of retired numbers on the wall, including number four. This is also a reference to Joe Cronin, who wore the number four and had it retired by the Boston Red Sox in reality as well. Visitors to the Dugout Inn aren't exactly going to be struck by its upscale atmosphere. Surprisingly though, this futuristic dive may take its influence from a real-world Boston bar. The Dugout is one of the oldest bars in Boston. Legend has it that it served as a speakeasy during the Prohibition. And if you're from Illinois like me, you know that that's a pretty easy reputation to gain and maintain, since there's essentially no way to prove it or disprove it. And of course, in keeping in the theme of Diamond City, it is also famous for its close connection to the Boston Red Sox. Located near Fenway Park, 1940s Red Sox players like Ted Williams and Michael Pinky Higgins were known to hang out at the dugout after home games. Not every reference found in Diamond City is about baseball and local Boston history, though. Take the robot serving up food at Power Noodles. When attempting to talk to him, the only response you'll get is Nani ni shak shimasuk. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna hit here. here. Nani shimasuka? In Japanese, this means what'll you have? This is a reference to the 1982 film Blade Runner, where Harrison Ford's character is asked this question and orders a bowl of noodles. Like Fallout 4, Blade Runner is set in a dystopian future and deals with a plot about bio-robotic androids called replicants. Okay, let's get to the trivia section while we're at it, shall we? Last week we told you that a Fallout 3 NPC, Hannibal Hamlin, was named after an American vice president, and we asked you which president he served under. The answer was Abraham Lincoln! This week we have another question for you. According to the startup screen of the Pip-Boy in Fallout 4, it has 64 kilobytes of RAM and 38,911 bytes free. This is a reference to the specs of what ancient gaming machine? A. The PlayStation 1 B. Sega Master System C. The Commodore 64 or D. The Nintendo 64 I know the answer because I have it highlighted right here. I could tell you for a fee. I'm bribable. I'm totally bribable. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week.